Hello and welcome to History 230 Social Studies for Elementary Education. My name is Stephen Henderson and I will be your professor for this class alongside of my colleague Donna Boots. To start out with the class on Moodle you can find our course listed under your classes that you're taking and enrolled in. And the very start in the home page of our class you'll see uh, at the very top this. It's the course documents. Here is where you can find weekly reminders uh, I would encourage you to first read a little bit about Donna and myself to get to know us a little bit uh, as we are co-instructing this class together. Uh, to begin next then, I would strongly encourage you to take a look through the syllabus and a look through the form posting schedule. That will make sense in a moment. As you scroll down, you're going to see that we have the class broken down into various weeks that coincide with different topics. One thing that we have to remember about this class is that it is designed to give you a massive, very broad overview of social studies, ranging from world history to American history to, um, as you look down further in the class, um, geography, economics, American government. So we're going to cover lots of different things uh, in our course. And so we have to remember that we're going to be moving very quickly and that we are going to be covering a lot of different material each week. To start out, I'd like to walk you through briefly the course syllabus to take a look at and to highlight some key things um, that I think we need to pay close attention to. The first thing is our uh, contact info. Here is my contact information. Uh, again, you can reach me. Uh, the best way to reach me is via email, uh, as I'm, I, I can respond most uh, any time. The other thing, since Donna, she is uh, a full-time middle school teacher uh, with this, her specialty area is social studies, um, and the best way to reach her is her email. Uh, when, when sending emails, uh, questions, please be sure to include both of us on the email, um, as one of us may be check their email before the other one. So if you contact both of us, we'll just CC everyone in the conversation, and then you can get your Amazon, your uh, your answer much quicker. So please be sure to include uh, both myself and Donna via email. Um, an important thing to take note is this class is online and asynchronous. That means we don't physically get together and meet on the camera. We don't physically get together and meet on the allotted time, like let's say a Saturday morning or a Saturday afternoon, as you might be accustomed to. Um, this class means that instead of online sessions, you complete the coursework each week on your own time. So the, the classes run from Monday to Sunday at midnight is when each week goes. So for instance, the first day of our class, quote unquote, is Monday the 9th and runs through that Sunday. All right. Next is the books. Please be sure to get copies of um, Social Studies content for elementary and middle school teachers, second edition. This is a great, wonderful, short little book that, um, and to help you study for the Praxis 2 content portion, this is bar none, the best text so that you can get um, to give you a high level summary of many, many different topics as it relates to social studies. Uh, that is why I've selected that text for this class. Uh, another required text for the class then is a book by Howard Zinn. It's called The Young People's History of the United States. And this is a wonderful book that does a very good job of giving us um, an unknown or maybe unheard side of American history. He has a very interesting take on American history, and that will be another another course text. So we have more of an informational kind of text with this book, and more of a, a novel type book with with uh, with that text. Like we said, the course description. This class is designed to provide elementary educated students with a survey of social studies ranging in various different topics. So moving ahead, this is things that you can read on your own. Um, I just want to keep moving to point out some high level things. A big important thing for for this class is most of our the vast majority of our communication will be via email. I see a lot of different students, and Donna teaches many different people too. It's a, it's critical that when you per communicate with us, you communicate professionally. Please don't just send an email that says when is the assignment due. That will mean nothing to me, and I don't reply to those kinds of emails. Please identify yourself. Say you know Stephen. My name is so-and-so, I'm in your History 230 DL class, 
and then uh, get to the bulk of your email. And then please sign your name because since we see so many different students it, it, early on in the semester, it helps us to organize our schedules and our lives as we reply to people if you communicate properly. Not only that, it's important as a teacher to begin to think about communicating professionally with your colleagues, with your administrators, that kind of thing. Um, we have a very strict plagiarism policy. If you plagiarize in any form, you automatically fail the assignment, and it is up, up to my discretion, as long with Donna, to potentially fail you for the entire course. Um, we hold academic honesty to, in, in the highest regard, and so we hold our students strictly to that. Here is a short overview of all of our assignments for the semester. The forum posts, there's uh, eight of them for a total of 120 points. The weekly readings, um, the quizzes, there'll be 178 points. And then there's a series of tests and some different types of finals that you'll also see. Um, and so this gives us our, our course total. The explanations for this, this is assignments at a glance, assignments at length at the very end um, after the, the, the schedule, you'll see all of these assignments explained in depth. Here is the course schedule. Like I said, it's organized by weeks ranging from running from a Monday to a Sunday. Please note that our forums or the posts and replies um, are due by Sunday at midnight. So that means you need to, when it is your turn, when you are scheduled to uh, post, you need to have a post done by Sunday at midnight. Replies, same thing, by the Sunday at midnight. Here are the different weeks that you can see. Um, I won't walk through these as you can take a look at them. Um, Don and I are human. We may have made mistakes with dates or um, different labels. Something might not match between, let's say, the syllabus and our course online. If that is the case, if you find an error, please point it out to us and we will happily change it. Um, I know that that happens. Like I said, we're human and I make mistakes. I try to check all those things, but as as many as much information as we try to give you up front with all the dates and all the specifics of the class it is very easy to miss some of these things so I if you see them please let me know and I will happily change them and I, I value when people point these out because then I can make the corrections here's the section of the syllabus that assignments at length I want to take some a moment to point out our forum posts because these are going to be different than what you're probably traditionally used to um, we will have uh, be due to the large number of people in the class um, we're going to do forum posts, posting uh, like and replying uh, on a rotating basis, meaning uh, the first week, since it's an introductory week, we'll all post. But starting with week two, or sorry, not necessarily week two, forum post two, <coughs> excuse me, um, some of us will post, some of us will respond, some of us will do neither, just simply read some discussions. That information on when it is your turn to either answer the question or reply to somebody or to just simply read the conversations can be found in our class under the forum post schedule. That document looks like this. So for example, our first student in our entire class list, Teresa, she of course will post forum post one because um, on week one because we all do. Week uh, forum post two, which I believe is week two, she will post. Now forum three, which happens to be, um, and the dates, you can see it on the syllabus. So for instance, forum post three is actually due week four. So forum post three, she is only going to read. She does not need to post and she does not need to respond. She just simply can read conversations that sound interesting. And it goes onto a rotating schedule. So she reads only, responds, she posts, read only, respond, post. So as you can see, find your name on the list, and then you can see, okay, when do I need to post? When do I need to only read? When do I only need to respond? So that is a benefit to you in that you are not necessarily going to be required to write a full-length post each week. Um, sometimes you might only reply. Sometimes you only need to read conversations. So here is that schedule. Um, back down to the explanation. So like it said, each week one third of the class will be selected to write a post, another group will be selected to write a response, this group is labeled the response, and another group is, is uh, only the read. Okay? Um, the length, this is important, <coughs> your post and respond or response should be a minimum of 150 words. That's about like half a page, um, double spaced. And forum posts, the grading criteria, it's 20 points for a post or 20 points for a response. Okay? And here's kind of how we grade these. 
you need to show evidence of reflection. We want to see some reflective writing. We want to see you address the course content as it relates to the, to the specific questions asked. And then obviously conventions. We want to know that you can know where to put commas and periods and capitalization, that kind of thing. Um, these are just basic rules for writing that we need to follow. The weekly quizzes, here is the explanation for that. These are short um, quizzes that are timed that are are going to be challenging because the point of this is to help prepare you for the content portion of the Praxis 2. So you can read about the weekly quizzes. Um, there is a, a final exam slash essay <coughs> that uh, the questions explanations can be right here. And then there are two opportunities for extra credit, a uh, historic movie critique or a book review. Uh, and you can read about those as well here. A note that these are due, however, they are due no later than week 14. I will not take extra credit assignments any later than week 14. Um, then you can look back up at the schedule. That's a high-level, fast uh, shotgun approach to our class. Um, to begin, I would start by reading through all of the required documents, reading a little bit about Donna and myself, and then um, jumping into our course content. I hope that you look forward to this class. I look forward to having a semester of learning alongside of you. And if at any time you have questions, please feel free to contact Donna or myself um, with these questions, and we will be happy to get back to you. Have a great remainder of the break that you have, and I look forward to starting the class next week, Monday. Have a good week, everybody.